All right, and just a reminder today, we do have a seizure warning in effect um, for this game. All right, guys, thank you and welcome to uh, Cyberpunk 2077. This is our fully updated game. So um, we do have the 1.5 patches, um, including uh, fixing up your apartment, uh, being able to change your hairstyle, which is something I always wanted to do. Um, so just very exciting to be able to kind of customize your character past that first loading screen. And we've got sales at Wilson's. That's not too much important. Um, yeah. And then some, a lot of other stuff, including story and interactions uh, with your romantic partner, which I'm Fucking cop in this city Hello. might as well be a civilian. I feel like I shouldn't be. I feel like that was a story point, maybe a side quest. Like it kept highlighting uh, hustles, gigs, and fixes. Yeah, I still don't know the difference between some of these things, but I think we need to get through the prequel, like part or not prequel, but like the stuff with Jackie. So. Mm. Woman of the hour. Jeez. It took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Trying then to. we can drop in on Senor Vector. That's it. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet. I mean, like we have like zero dollars. That, just that he's fronted Can by a little check? known someone named Dexter Deshawn. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few also, years ago. Also, this is a street Messed kid. Messed with a nasty one. crew in Pacifica. You couldn't tell Things from the street kid up. option, but I forgot mm -hmm. that earlier. Gang um, wars two years back. Oh, we have Somehow a Dex maybe. got caught up in the craziness. Okay. Another one. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. <laughs> Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, I mean, but it still is he's a, made one like, hell of a comeback. Gorgeous game, just the cityscapes itself. Guy's up to his elbows in blood, Jack. Do you want to shake his hand? Work with him. T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. Well, the sound design is kind of cool. Think, like when okay? you turn away from Jackie you can hear his voice. Yes, like... I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. 
Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias a Dios. Oyeno. I also think it's really cool how the... my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our dust up with the scabs. The... how the subtitles... Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. I keep talking. Okay, and the subtitles will adjust and like translate. So if work Jackie says did. something in Spanish, and, like, like it looks, which is a like little bit, like it has to go through translation we'll see about that. in like so we or what? And things like that. So I think it's very Let's cool. Let's feel this factory new ride. And these ugly ass car. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of this car at all. The upholstery is kind of cool, but. Like she has this weird ass First stop. pit bull bobblehead thing. Anchica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Right, we got this. I was oh. supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Okay, yeah, the this is... you don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. I'm a terrible driver. This is. I don't want to blame it on the controls, but I- oh... Dear god. Okay. Even out, even out. I think the camera is throwing me off a little bit, but still, I am- it's not good to see. In the major leagues. We need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Oh, shoot. I should have done some side quests. Quick crying, Vic. I'll I bring you the, the um, with boxing thing. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Should you be administrating drugs Chair, before please. a procedure? Sit down, relax. Look at my cute little boots. Okay. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Oh. That is now a check in. whole eyeball. Okay. You peruse and choose while I scan. Ooh. See what's going on inside. Cyberware. Implants are mechanical replacements for organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists. Okay. Uh... 
yeah, when I designed my character, I didn't want any of the chrome settings, like plating you can get on their face. But, um, yeah, let's go about... Okay. So this is our only option right now, I think. Mark 1, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Oh, look, it's my little shirt I threw on today.
taking so long. Dex is waiting on us. Ivy, Regina Jones here. I heard you were looking for work in Watson, so it happens to one of my main employers. If you don't want to waste your talents of yours, check the gigs. Thought you were okay. Come and see. Uh, Glenn, da, da, da. okay, those are the um, boxing stuff. Inventory, yep, there I am. The face settings were kind of weird. Like, I don't know, her eyes always look too small. Clothing. Uh, food. Everything okay. Map. Uh, talk to Jackie. Open journal. The ride. High risk, high reward. As Dexter Deshawn likes to say, first rule of the afterlife. So this is it. Be time to go in. Grab the bull by the horns and make a name for ourselves. But first, let's hear what Dexter Deshawn has to say. Side jobs. The gun. Collect your gun from Wilson. Okay. Beat on the brat. Beat on the brat. The ride. Okay, that's what we're doing right now. The gig, wait for lockdown to end. Okay. We're gonna go see what walk into that Pachinko salon of hers. I get this weird like tingling feeling on the back of my neck. I don't know if these she's all kinds of weird anyways. Are we talking to ourselves in like the third person? Like is this our diary or something? T-Bugs, probably the last person you expect to do presents. She's not the kind of gal who goes around buying novelty coffee mugs or t-shirts. The rescue, practice makes perfect. The street kid. Apologies, that is my phone. Don't get a day off when you're a student. Alright, so we have a lot to upgrade and kind of go through. And I don't know if... Oh. Okay. This, this is a lot for, like, maps. Shards. I know we picked up a few of these. In early August 2023, 20, a single event would change the course of history. Although it fell against the bloody backdrop of the Fourth Corporate War, the global media still fed on the story for weeks. Could you blame them? A group of terrorists uh, detonated a nuclear bomb blowing up Arasaka's towers to pieces. The terrorist warning comes too late. Not all the towers and toys could be evacuated. The blast itself killed and wounded thousands while countless others died from radiation sickness. How did the biggest terrorist attack in the 21st century happen? Who was it behind this catastrophe? Blah, blah, blah. Wait, early 2020s was a period of unrest in Night City. Anti-corporate sentiment was at an all-time high. But at the center of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club. It was seen as an island of resistance against the powers that be, primarily mega corporations like Militech and Biotech. Uh, though a special place in hell was... Uh, Serve for Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturing, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, that held the most influence overnight cities. The kind of the people who frequent the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves and ironically deprived them of the two things capital loved the most, freedom and choice. These people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against the corporate world order. They declared their own freedom and opposition to the status quo, but the Deprived of any peaceful way of meaningful change, they called the system. They reached a more radical method of self-expression. What up, BD maniacs? Hungry for a new email rush? Check out the latest world from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign bodies. Um, what is it? Oh, Maxwell's rehab. Bad Lord Great. Oh, this is like um, advertisement. Literature. Dr. Havoc and Radon?
Oh, this is like a full-length novel, I think. Or like um, sections of a novel, like um, vignettes in a magazine kind of thing. Or novellas in a magazine. Okay. Did I go through everything? Make sure I skip time. Database. Alright, cool. Job complete, the river dock. We may have to go to talk to Jackie now. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us out. <laughs> How's biz, Misty? Booming? You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Alright, that's all we can say to Missy. Chakra. Harmonization and crystal radiation. Alrighty then. Okay. Walk on the end. This one. Track job. Retrieve the pink quick cap from the net runner. Okay, and then now I should be able to. Mm. I have no idea where I'm going. Look at that, that car is glitching out. <laughs> what the hell? Like, I think the other cars behind it are trying to move. That is so weird. Okay. Down the freaky alley. Oh, what you doing? Aliens kidnap my wife and kids help me celebrate. Okay. Oh. Here. All yours. Mm, to complete this NCPD scanner, hostile defeat all enemies. Oh, I must have walked into something. Okay, run away. Let's travel. Maybe I've gotten the hang of this driving thing. Or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no idea how to... Okay. There's like no brakes on the car, I don't know. Saw that. Oh my god, okay. This is fine, this is fine. Oh! The controls are so sensitive on the car and there's like no braking. Just walk from here. Oh. All right, just getting run over. No. Here we go. I think we just wanted one big circle. I don't think it matters. I get in.
right here. Right? Yes. Yes, right here. Okay. Nope. Don't talk to you. I talk to you. Seabug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Hmm. All right. Square. Okay, over here. If an attribute requirement appears in red, it means your attribute level's not high enough to perform the action. Okay. I can't do anything about that. Well, great. What's this? New shard. Unloading the fall of the first net. Chapter 1, the apocalypse. Okay, that's more literature. Which is cool. Like, I have to congratulate the game developers for, like, having writers write all this. It, it may be shitty stories, but I don't know yet. That's cool that they took the time to kind of develop that. Um, can I track this job? Wait for lockdown to end. I thought lockdown already ended. Alright, we'll meet with Dex. We'll go back to the main story. And once we get an attribute, we can come back and finish out this quest. Um, go this way. That was a pretty cool van. Do you see that van that just passed? Where'd it go? We lost it. Damn. No, there. Is that it? I think that's it. I like that van. We're gonna try something. Gonna let me go, right? Yeah, yeah. I just want your car. Nice. Oops. Uh, no, not this van. Wait. better. Very slow progress. But, ah! I like the solar panel. This is totally like the leftover products of a van life I feel like. I like this car though. I'm not intentionally trying to smash it. I just can't. It's hard to try to even it out. Oh. Totally. Come on. Hostile situation. Oh shoot, I'm getting shot at. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, thank you. No combat for me, please. Whoa. Oops. Okay. Maybe I should, yeah, I'm just out. Oh, that was a fun car. Uh, 
know how far away I am now. And that is where I'll leave Cyberpunk for today. Um, this is the end of episode one. Sorry, the audio was really wonky. It like picked up my headphone mic and not my actual mic. So hopefully I'll fix that in the second part. But if you enjoyed this, um, if you have any side quests or any recommendations, maybe you know how to fix the settings so driving isn't so weird, um, I'd be more than happy to read those comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can see when I'm uploading what. Um, I've got a few podcast episodes and some video essays I'm working on on top of the gaming content. So thank you for watching. Um, check out all the links in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.